It's going to be a long video, so I'm going to take my time. A lot of folk try and tie it. They're okay, but this is the proper way. I'm no expert, but I know how to tie the Calvin shrimp. I'm sure how to tie it. I know how to tie it properly. So I can show you guys. Um, it's a size 11 Salar. I used to hate tying on Salars, but now it's all I use. It's for them. Once I was showed how to tie properly on them. Uh, find them a lot better. Right, as you can see, I tie my thread a good bit down from need uh, down a wee bit, and this is going to be the small body. I need to plant a room after the heart balls to build your head. It, it all works out. What I was going to say as well is. When you get um, your Arctic runner, I find you'll get some, it's really soft. Like this stuff here, it's really soft stuff. And then you get other stuff like this. It's kind of real hard guard hair stuff. I don't worry, keep it. It works out good. Because for the first bottom of the tail, you need something really stiff. The guard hair stuff is great for that. So that's what you use. Keep your guard hair thick and out like run it for your bottom. Same as a park shrimp for the bottom. The middle bit of the tail is the softer stuff. Then the top, and you get a bit of softer stuff on top. I'll show you what I mean. So don't worry if you get a, if you think it's a bad patch, keep it. You can all use it, you can use it all. Um right, for the first bit of the carbon it's red, and I said. That's got to be the thicker stuff. That's got to be the thicker stuff. Let's get the guard here and level it off. You don't want the guard here. Keep it, but just level it off. And this is what's going to support the whole wing. So we just put that there. Oh, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> sorry about oval. Tying your oval. Tying your oval uh oval gold just before it, the bridge of the bend. One, two, three, four. That's all you're going to need in a size 11. Then back up through the middle. Down, sorry, down over the top, down. A few wraps on top. Back up. Cut it off, okay. You've got your, you can call it your, yeah, um, you're, you know what I mean, you're tired. Then, you put this. Yeah, right, as you can see, it's kind of thicker stuff. You need a good bit because you're tying it in halfway up and it kind of thins out. And this is what's going to hold the rest of your tail up. It's a quite short piece. Look at that, isn't it? That's it. That's it. That's all you need. It's not a long bit. Tie it out. Okay. Spread it just a little bit. And I see. Okay, it looks thick. It needs to be because it's holding the rest of the tail up. You can cut this. I got to do the road way. Right Right. Then yeah, light bright. Let's have four strands of this stuff. 
Watching and fame, alright. All that. Add two strands, fold back. Perk, different lengths. Perfect. Right, okay, you've got that. Now, another part, mesh book, but too much, man, far too much. And leave your guard here. See the guard? Can I can't see. The guard here is. Leave the long guard hairs in, then I see them out. Leave the long hairs if you want to get the, the Ross McDonald struggling look. That's the way you're going to do it. May have some butts, that's the way it's done. You want it to look like a scraggy kind of looking, and so it's done. There you go, it's a bit longer. Cut that up so you need. That is word. There you go. I can show you. You got the scrub leaf and that. There. Guard hairs. Okay. I'm going to cut all this off there, but I need to keep it. And then. Your orange. Your orange um, angel here. And then hold it over. Again, different lines. There you go. There you go. Okay. You can see the red's going to keep the ring up. Then the last bit, the gent, and it's just a little, little offering. A wafer thin. Just a, a wafer thin mint of an offering. There you go. It's bit, bit far too much on. Far too much on. So it's going it's well back from the red. It's not going to be level with the red. It's going to be, as you can see, like well back. It's only just a wee splash. It's just a, a mere offering. A long time, eh? I was tying it wrong, so. There you go. There's your tail. There you go. I'm leaving the leave the guard hairs in the middle bit. Same with the park shrink. Just get your bottom bit. That's the thickest bit of the tail, so it's keeping everything up. Alright. Right, let's give everything a trim back. Because that is going to be the length of your body. Then grab your if you can your opal small you doing tubes using medium for this size. Right, a trick, a trick way to do it. Eat your tail. Okay, hold it up. Pinch it, hold it up as you tie down towards the tail. Down towards your oval. Hold that tail up. If I kind of cock it up. See? See? Just hold your tail up. It kind of helps cock it up. There you go. That's when it's done. And then you get your mix of seals fur. Light bright, not too much light bright, because it just totally 
takes over if you to it just takes over with the seals for to say I'm sick of buying little wee bags of seals for and touch with any yards and get the size of that and you'll get massive bags of seals for for something like nine pounds or something like huge nine pound for look at the size of it massive massive bags of seals for it's cheaper than what you'd ever get from the shops right right there you go. Well, I thought they were going to like struggle seals for them. You just use a little bit at a time because it's no problem, as you can see. Piece of cake. Right on me. Alright. There we go. Hold your tail. Right. Now, what about the. I think your body's too short. You've got it. Just tighten up your seals for. I was always thought you think your body looks too short. <laughs> there you go. You're in the ballpark. It's a size 11. Then one wrap. Usually I find if I get three wraps on a size 11. And probably four in a size nine. There you go. You're doing well. Man. Man. There we go. I like to double it back a little bit. Keep your wraps well back. There you go. There you go. Look at the body. That's the size it should be. Make sure you've got the hang of that. Right? Yeah, you can. Right. Arctic Fox. Orange. Okay. I need even a lot of this stuff. I thought. Not a size 11. There you go. That's right. There you go. There you go. That's what you're talking about. Just a thin, thin, thin. Just going out the bit of the purple. There, the magenta. Bang it down. Get it level. There we go. Just keep an eye on it. There you go. You can see, far too long. Let's pull it back. So you don't want this to look neat. You want us to get the... There you go. There you go, perfect. I want to like Ross McDonald does his. It's the way you do it. You're going to sit and make it look nice, neat, tidy. Sit and get everything perfect. You know, it's, it's not the way the fly's supposed to be. It really isn't the way it's supposed to be at all. It's one of that shrimpy kind of look about it. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want these being too big either. For a while I used to put them too big. And it just smothered the f it just didn't look right, but I thought it was the way it was done, it wasn't a jungle clock. There you go. Oh. There you go. I put them in two at a time, then I kinda play around them after like. Good enough. There you go. Enough. It's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. There you go. Normally, I'll put a wee dab of something. Glue or something in there. Right. Just a little bit. I've boxed this thread when I started pretty, pretty heavily. There we go. There's your Turn your clock in, okay? The sides, nice, neat. A nice turn your clock cape here. Let's see, you want some water ones. 
the second tackle shots I've got local here that kind of try and rip you off with capes of about 40-50 crew and just junk. And a couple of guys from Estonia got on, eat on eBay, that's brilliant, like, absolutely brilliant. Right, Hackle. I used to buy genetic Hackles capes, 30-40 quid, waste of money. Absolute waste of money. You get something like this, Chinese cape, vineyards. Chinese Indian capes like a five out of brilliant six pound. Huge capes and they're absolutely brilliant quality. I'm not going to say any names but I bought genetic capes and they're every bit as good if not better. And they look stunning. They're a lot thinner stem, they're just brilliant to use. Uh, one more thing I was going to do as well, you need, you need, you need to use uh, badger capes for this. But if you can't afford the badger cape, I don't know what it you can get this from Vineyards. This is about a two metre roll of strong badger hackles. From small, from small all the way to large. Cut off what you need and dye them. That was about 10 quid for about a two metre roll. I'm not going to unroll it. Look how thick that is. A two metre roll. Just huge, huge roll. You can just wash them and dye them the colour you want. And Here's how they turn out. Look, badger hackles. Just as good as the capes. Look, look at that. Look at that, just heaps of them. For nine quid, I've got a lifetime supply. So, ask for strong vineyards, strong hackles. And just do them like that. If you're, if you're struggling to get, give us a shout and see if I can get some for you. Right, first of all, orange hackle. Sorry if this video is taking a while, I'm just gonna, gonna take the time. Right, orange. Bob's gonna be back to the bend for the first hackle. Okay. One, two, fold it back. Okay. Use hardcore players, but I'm not going to bother. Just a couple, maybe two, maybe three. I'm just going to judge it to see what you think. I'm going to put one more on. Okay. That's one more. That's going to do it. Okay, up underneath, tie it off, one, two, nice and tight, right, there you go, perfect, there that, that's where it should be, I'm just pushing them back, I'm not going to tie over them, I've a couple more wraps, there you go, this is us cut your thread, <laughs> knew it was going to happen. It's okay. Tight back on again. Right. Here's the hackles from Vineyards. Just every bit as good. Now, this last one hasn't got to be as long as your first hackle. It's these squeegee scissors. I was holding them in my hand. Cut the thread. Stupid. Right. Okay, tie that one. Right. As you can see, you still got a gap. If we do your, your fancy knot. Really nice thin stems in these hackles. They're just, they're just brilliant. You get them so cheap, you can afford to 
It really kind of felt them on anything, any fly you tie. Okay. There we go. Up underneath. Okay. Push everything back. Bulge your head. You see, got no fibers at all. There we go. Nice, neat head. One, two, three. Bingo. There you go. Oops, my little fiber there. Afternoon. There you go. That's it. That's the way it should be tied. And it's straight from a horse's mouth. If you want it to look like the most McDonald did, that's the way you're going to do it. See, you still see a general clock. And you see what I mean about the, the fibers coming out? The guard tails. That's the way it's done. That's it. Tiny wee head, it's all what we got. Always leave a gap in the eye for your knot to go down. Because if you put your head right up, you're not gonna get your gonna get it down. So look at that. If you do it like that, you're gonna leave a tiny, tiny wee head. Look at it. And plus you've got a lot you'll see a little bit of black after the head where your knot's gonna sit. So if you start your body, tie your thread on right down with your body, that's it. It's fine, thanks. Apes said, man, you must be putting me on. God said, no. Ape said, what? God said, you can do what you want, ape, but the next time you see me coming, you better...